Simon and John Long guys, welcome back to Guild of Engineering. This is chapter 4 and when we last left off, we had done the Mimic Quest. That was the hardest one we've done yet. Uh, we ended up losing a couple Cat Burglars, um, I think a Chump and one, one uh, Zinc if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, we lost one Zinc, one Ninja, and uh, two Aussies. So we died four times to that, but... We made it out. Um, we have 256 gold right now, but like I said, I'm saving it up for um, the Idol of the Crone, which costs 500. So we're not going to spend it, or not going to buy anything until we get that. So we're going to head go exploring. So the next one we're going to do is the Fire Lord Adventure. Uh, I can't really remember anything bad about this one. I don't think it was incredibly hard, but we'll find out. So quest one: Fiery Foray. Scope out Ambrose defenses. Um, let's go ahead and use someone we haven't used yet. So let's use death If I see that the uh, adventure needs a certain tw twist to it, I guess then I'll use a different character, but let's defeat three monsters We got an all we got a fire imp. We got two fire imps. Sorry and an all so that's not too bad right off the bat I can go like this and I can definitely put down that gold um, kind of want to load up with characters or characters, um, enemies. Let's fight this scary spider. So, if it hits, it heals health. So, let's go ahead and block that magic then. So, talented is what we start with. So, we start with fire one, which is this attacker right here. Go ahead and use intuition because it's going to heal anyways. I'm going to try to do one damage, so I'm going to use fire blasts on it. Hopefully, that intuition didn't screw me over, but I'm having I'm having slight worries. It might have. So unblockable gains one magic damage for the next fight. So I can kill this, okay? As long as I use sparks. That's good to know. So that just saved my life right there. So what do we got? I guess we'll take Pigeon Nest. I can see this being pretty rough if I don't have any uh, healing and or blocking damage spells, especially blocking like physical damage and stuff. So he went down life. Excuse me, because of Night Owl. Looks like I'm going to come that way anyways. I can put the bear owl behind me, just kind of make it so I have to fight something. I'm going to do one damage. Sorry, he's going to do one damage to me anyways. Do I still have... No, I don't. Just go ahead and use fire blast, I guess. I got to be uh, weary of the uh, fury on this guy's wall. So he's going to do two damage and lose one. I can deal one and heal one, which means I only take one damage and he takes two. Shit. Okay, it's a good thing I got that because I would have lost if I hadn't have picked that up. Daisy chain, stiletto, crossbow. Let's take stiletto, I guess. So I only have to defeat one more monster, which is not bad at all. Go ahead and put that there. It's going to lose health because of Night Owl, so I don't have to worry too, too much about anything. Um, looks like I'm going to run into him anyways, so I might as well just put down this one more room card. So with four health, I should be able to take this guy out with ease. So he can't be killed unless he's on one health. 
And if uh, surrounded by five plus tiles, he loses health. Do this, and then next turn I can do a damage that does one hit. Well, actually, it doesn't even have to be one hit. It's just he has to be on one health for him to die. Like so. Demands a nicer room. So we got 43 gold out of that. That's not too bad. So we turn to the guild. Instead you pillage and plunder and rip everything asunder. You're just a 299. Bunch. We're getting up there. I need 500, so I'm about 200 off roughly. So quest 2, Scorching Spoils. Loot all of Embro's treasure. We're going to stick with death. Um, it was pretty rough, but I think if I... As long as I play it decently well and get good luck with my cards, I should be okay. So I don't want to go here first. What does DK do on him? Let's uh, head up this way first, I guess. And build off this path. But yeah, if I grind out a fair bit, it shouldn't be a problem for me. I'll use sparks. See, I would be doing great if I was fighting um, magic dealing magic enemies, like enemies that are doing magic damage to me, then I'd be doing great. That's a... Holy shit. I might have to take that. That's too good to pass up. I get three good cards. Get stupidity one, but I mean, I'll have to make it work, of course. I can't put it in that square, unfortunately, but I can drop this here. Hope I come back down that way. I'll put the uh, zombie there. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna come back this way. I tried to build. I'll try to build a path so I come back down that way. Worst case scenario. So. on there we go good fight he had me worried for a second there but I uh, came out on top I really don't want to place that weapon I have but I might for that scimitar just so I can have more damage To replace it with the scimitar, I guess. Ooh. Let's take that skull cap because I want the defense. So now I should be heading down this way, like so, which is good to know. I don't want to throw this down, but I guess I'm going to. Why did I only start with two cards again? Uh, early stage. So I get one health, but I have minus one starting hand size in battle. Really not a good card to have. Or not a good battle scar, sorry. I can definitely make it work. on just gotta do one more damage and there it is none of these are really good I don't want to replace the helmet and the stiletto keeps so I'm just gonna take some gold put that there I need something for here fortunately I don't have anything And hopefully my lingering doesn't cost me either. So I could get unlucky and die or some crap like that, but... 
Let's use counter. Hmm. Guess I'll use sparks. And then I'll use slice, and that should be him dead. Yeah. Um, obviously magic robes is better because I get holy seal one with that too. So let's take the magic robes. So I'm going to start heading this way, which is nice. So I'll finally build the path this way now. He wants me to head this way first. Well, sorry, he wants to head this way first. So I'll put the null there. Bear all here. I really hate this battle scar. I'm sorry. <laughs> This is probably one of the worst battle scars I could have got. Unfortunately. So if anything, it's going to get me killed is what's going to happen. I'll make do though. Don't really want to fight this guy, but I don't got a choice. And I really don't have any turns to squander here either, unfortunately. I want to use Flame Lash, but I don't know how good it would have been. Let's use Slice. Because as long as I get one of these off real quick, then it should kill him. That was a close match. Too close for comfort, actually. Let's take that armor. Oh, uh, let's just take some gold. I really don't want to fight another fire elemental. I'm just going to leave that. Put down some cards. There's creatures I, I don't mind fighting and creatures I absolutely hate fighting. And Fire Elemental is one of those creatures I just hate fighting. So we're just going to stay and clear of them. It's just annoying because of the burn damage. And then with this character, I don't really have a whole lot of time to play around with, especially because that battle scar now. So if I don't get good cards or good enough damage to kill, I have a shit ton of health, uh, good enough damage to kill him right off the bat, then it's going to screw me over because I only have two cards in my hand opposed to what they're getting, I guess you could say. Right now, I kind of have more room to play with, though, because of... Uh, I can't really afford to discard, because I'm not going to end up killing him. I'm going to have to do this now. Fuck, I'm an idiot. I might have just died from that. But you know what it is? It's not necessarily that that just killed me. It's the fact that I have this stupid battle scar. I didn't die, by the way. But it's the fact that I have this stupid battle scar. If I didn't have this scar, I wouldn't be, uh... I don't know what's on what's on with that sword there. Let's take that shield. I really I don't like the bear owls either, only for the fa fact that they have a uh, fury, which is kind of crappy. But I mean, they're more reasonable to fight than those stupid, um... Whatchamacallit. Uh, elementals. And he did heal over two health, too, by the way, from that. Just to point that out. If I would have had that attack now, I would have done three damage. It's alright, though. I want to save this. So let's go ahead and use this one. I 
Because I'm going to do two damage with a magic attack. Or an extra damage with my magic attack. This one. There we go, I was going to say. Oh, he's taking fire damage now, so he's doing an extra one damage per round. Let's go ahead and block that, and then I can kill him off next turn. With the swiftness. Bam. This is probably the most powerful we've seen a character yet. Mm, I don't want to lose that health. I guess I'll take that blade. It's basically the scimitar, so I don't know why it's wanting me to do that. Put that behind with him there, I guess. I just gotta put down a room anywhere, really. I don't know why I'm thinking about it so hard. Like, it matters. <sighs> of course you would. Let's go like this, because I should be doing... Ah, uh, I see. Well, that's him dead, and that's me done this level, thankfully. Doesn't really matter what I take here. Holy crap. Look at that firestorm. Four unblockable damage. I kind of want that. Don't want that, that's for sure. Doesn't really matter what I take at this turn, but I lose the two health. So I might as well just take some gold. 109 gold. That's sure really decent. We start with blade one. This used to be a good, too. Since you killed come on. Everything has gone wrong. So I only need 100 more gold and then I can finally get that idol. And we're on the last quest here. Quest 3, Bath Bomb, Defeat Embro. We'll try with death, but I'm pretty sure I might get my ass kicked here. So that's where I have to get up to. Skilled and damp. Doesn't get level 1 or 2 cards. Well, that sucks. What's damp? Just got out of the bath, minus 3 health. So instead of having 10, it only has 3. Oh, he attacks in 12 turns, so if I don't kill him in 12 turns, he's gonna have more than the, uh... That's crap. More than the, uh... The 7 health, he'll have 10. So I might want to rush up there then. That's what the game's basically telling me. I was gonna say, why do I have the 3? But I remember because of, uh, Crone's knowledge. It's so crap, though, honestly. I was hoping I discarded that. Do that so he doesn't heal. This guy's annoying me. Should be able to kill him next turn, no matter what. Yeah. I was hoping anyways. So we leveled up. Damn. Let's go ahead and take that. So we've got 10 turns until he gets leveled. I don't want to do that though, so let's go ahead and put the room onto the side here. And I'll throw up the null. I might regret this. Might not though. He's going to do 2 damage to me anyways, I might as well do 2 damage back to him. He's already at Fury, but that's fine. So he's going to do three damage to me. Or sorry, two damage. I don't know why I got three. I can't afford not to do damage to him, so I guess I'll do the one. Crap. I'm pretty sure I'm dying. Yep, dead. That's okay, because I didn't really like that battle scar on him, like I said. So at least now I can reroll and not get that battle scar because that was just screwing me over. So let's jump right back into it. Um, Ozzy might not be a bad person to choose for this one. I'll go ahead and use him. Hopefully I don't get him killed too much here. So what do we got? What do we got? Let's use throw cat. 
Throw a cat again and he'd be dead. It was an intense first battle, but we got it anyways. Shit jacket only gives me one health, which is nice, but I just got one health anyways. I might take that leather tome or leather bound tome. I would take the um the stool, but I don't want the stupidity right now. Might regret that too, by the way, but we'll see. Bandito. It's unblockable, so let's just go ahead and throw the cat. I gotta use the throw cat then, at risk of losing it. I might die. With that, yeah, I'm definitely dead. Um, doesn't really matter what I do. That's all right. Another hero dead at last. The future. I'm gonna start truly losing track of uh where I'm at with characters here. I know I will. However, I think this is gonna be a good one for Zinc. I tried with uh, Ozzy, but unfortunately it just didn't work out. I leveled up, well, I went in too fast is what happened there. Start with the scary spider. But with Zinc, I'm pretty sure I'll be okay. And I start with Swift 1, which is this, which is nice. Yeah, so far I have to say the Bruiser is my favorite class. It's the one I can probably rely on the most, if anything. Doesn't really matter what I do here, so I'll do this one. So you swift and kill, or shift. I don't know why I said swift, shift clearly. Use shift and kill him right off the bat. Let's go ahead and take this, I guess. I don't want the stupidity card, but I'll take it. Now, the zombie isn't too bad. I should be able to kill the zombie. Use your Kindle. Um, oi. This is probably a bad idea. Oh, never mind. Haha. -ha. Shit, I'm an idiot. Pay attention. Alright, um. That was a very close battle, and that sh never should have been. If anything, I'd want to get the crossbow over the stiletto. I might just take that crossbow. I think I will. So now I have a clear path up to him. Not like I necessarily want to take it right now, but... Let's get that extra card in my hand. Doesn't really matter what I do right now. So I can block that fully. Right on, right on. That fleet footed card is a good card, by the way. Just saying. Say a cooking pot. If I add something here, he'll go down to 4 health instead of, uh, have to be a Mysterious Fountain. Should've anyways. Was it 5 plus? Yeah, that's what it was. Never mind. Let's go ahead and use Fire Blast. Mmm, oi.
I guess I'll use Bash and hopefully get Bash in again and kill him. Damn. Hopefully he doesn't bring out anything for this last attack so that I can use Shift. Yeah, I won. That's why I like using your, or having Shift, rather. I kind of want that skull cap. Okay, so I'm not going to run right up to him just yet, which is cool. Because I can definitely hang around and uh, level up a bit. Throw a, uh, a null in that room, I guess. Bandito there. I don't really have any much more I can place. So let's just go ahead and uh, place a corridor down here, I guess. I guess I'll use this one because it's too risky to uh, get rid of. So I block one and he ends up taking three. I think that's a good trade. He's basically killing himself with this attack, but... What do I want to do? Definitely don't want to take Cooking Pot. Don't want that one either. I don't want to get rid of Fleet Footed, so I'll take some gold there. Let's put the gold pouch down too. Put the zombie there. Definitely want that jewel. With any luck, by the time I finish this, whether I die or not, I'll have enough to uh, get that last idol. Getting some shit, uh, shit luck with this, but, oh well. I'm gonna have to burn that, I can't afford to burn the other two. I didn't know zombies knew magic, like, what the hell is this? This is good. Thank god. Let's sell that for two gold. Let's go fight him now. I might be pushing it, but I think I'm ready. Yeah, I should be ready. Three damage and he loses one. So I basically trade 3 damage with them and we'll be at the same health rate. 3, 6, 7. Yeah. Let's go ahead and do that. One of each. Let's not use interrupt then. Let's use get out of here. That's it. Bam! Get smashed, son. Bath bomb. 146 gold right on. And we got gullible from that, unfortunately. One loot choice is of a lower level than normal. Basically, if you haven't gathered, these battle scars are bad. The longer you have a character live, the more battle scars he gets. And it's basically the game the game's way of um sandbagging your character if you've ever heard that expression or at least um toning your character down so he's not as op as he could be so basically the longer you live you don't actually get better you get worse unfortunately that's why i, I said you basically have to be okay with your characters dying in this game whatnot cat burglar um what are we on ozzy the fourth Was it the third or fourth? I think we're on Aussie the fourth. If I'm wrong, oh well. Yeah, I was wrong. No, no, I wasn't wrong. So here's our graveyard now. We got Aussie one, two, three, Zinc one, two, three, Ninja one, two, and Death one. I hit escape again when I didn't mean to. Let's go ahead and look in our trophy room real quick. Ambrose Towel, the Fire Lord. That's four bosses we've killed so far, and we can go ahead and get Idol of the Crone. Right on, right on. 
So I think the next thing I'm going to be saving up for is probably going to be Ranger. Maybe Barbarian, actually. Because I do like the Bruiser, and Barbarian is like an upgraded version of the Bruiser. So maybe I'll, I'll get Barbarian next, actually. Um, Most Holy Grail Knight. Love that. I think I'm going to end it here. And uh, when, we'll come, when we come back, we'll see how effective it is to have Idol of the Crone. And um, we'll be going further in. I think next one will be this one right here, which is None Shall Pass. Another three-part quest, so hopefully it's just as... Uh, I don't want to say easy, because this one wasn't really... Well, it was fairly easy, I guess. Um, but hopefully it's just as... It goes just as smooth as that one did. So anyways, though, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like for them to say. Comment down below. Subscribe and share as it helps me out. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you later. Bye.